Welcome to Capra's Kitchen once again. My name is Massimo Capra. I'm gonna do a recipe that just popped into my head yesterday. I don't know if it exists. You know, in my dream, I was having this seafood and uh, you know, I was in a market and it was beautiful. I was going through the stalls and all that. I mean, that, that tells you the kind of dreams I have. When I woke up, I st it stayed in my mind the beautiful seafood I saw in my dreams because we are in Toronto and beautiful seafood is very eh. You know, it's not like being by the sea. But in any case, a beautiful seafood stew. Let's get cooking. I, actually, let's get cutting. Oh boy, my knives need sharpening. Terrible, man. Terrible knives. Yeah, that, that's enough, that's enough. And the carrots give it a beautiful flavor too. I mean, don't, don't be, it's not just for looks. It's also for, uh, you know, the flavor, the sweetness that the carrots bring out. Carrots always work well, especially if you uh, noticed in Asian restaurant, wherever they do shrimp, there is always carrots in it. It's a beautiful thing. Celery, and please make sure you wash all of your vegetables. Okay, this one, I washed them earlier. I'm gonna leave the celery as is because this is a small one and just cut them in little chunks. Celery always offers freshness. It, it's a beautiful thing. Leeks, I'm gonna cut a little bit of the greens because they, they provide a little look. Leeks are uh, one of my favorite onions. Leek and potato soup comes to mind. Garlic, garlic, garlic. Two whole cloves cut in half. Now I'm gonna smack it like he owes, you, owes me money. And did you know that the way you cut garlic gives it a different uh, flavor? Ginger, let me put it right on top. I wish I had my tools from home, you see that? Ginger offers a nice freshness and a nice little flavor. I'm very happy to use it. Batch of oil, put it all in, and we let it cook a few minutes. My favorite thing, butter. Let it melt. I'm binding them together because I don't want to pick out the sticks. So basically, the important thing is because it's seafood, and seafood takes minutes to cook. So I want to prepare my base first, okay? So everything that goes in it has to be in it. The only thing that I need to cook will be the scallops. But look at that, the colors already is in conducive to a beautiful look. I'm gonna put in the scallops. I'm gonna put them over there, see if I can give it a quick sear while everything else is cooking. Look at that, just a little sear, just a little bit. I'm gonna put in my, my beans. In the absence of stock, we put some water. The beans are already cooked. We put the potatoes as well. We need to season everything, because nothing comes pre-seasoned. This is a seafood broth. Look at that. Huh. Now that is seafood, man. That's already super flavored. This is all fish heads, fish heads that have been boiled down. So I don't have a lid for this pot, so now I do. Let it cook a few seconds. Yeah, I'm making this up as I go. As I see, as I feel, what it might need, and the stems. Don't throw them away, man. Next time you make stock, throw the stems in it, the parsley. Parsley stem, amazing. I'm making like a gremolata here. Huh? So I'm using up all of this lemon. Ooh. Oh, take a look at that, man. Are you kidding me? That looks good. Who knows, could this be the next uh, recipe on the menu? Everyone loves bouillabaisse. Bouillabaisse. Glenda, you wanna see this, man. Then you come, come. That is a massive Brussels sprout, yeah? It might made it need a little salt, but you know, I have to boil it down, right? So, let me add the scallops in here, because the scallops are raw. So I can put them in right away like that, along with the shrimp, because they take very little time to cook. I want the fire to be really powerful. And then these ones, because this is king crab legs and that's uh, clams, I just need them to be, um, reheated because these are already cooked full of their own juices which is absolutely fantastic i don't want to wreck it and the clams are already to go see the shrimp take a second to cook now i can add my tomato yeah that's the look that's the look i want now i want to put these ones on the top i don't want to ruin them by all means you can put fish in here you can put anything anything you want the clams you can put live clams, you can put mussels, you can put lobster tail, you can, uh, you can put just about anything you want. I mean, the sky's the limit. Like that. Oh, let me remove this little package, because this is done its job already, I don't need to. This is the, that's why I tied it, because I don't want to see these sticks, okay? If I cooked it a little bit longer, all of the leaves would have come out and you would have had them in, uh, in your food, which is uh, perfectly fine as well. This is uh, ready. And all because I went to bed with the idea of having uh, king crab. The sauce, 
bonbon. It's like a cassoulet, man. Scallop, 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 king crab, king crab. So that people see it, you know what I mean? You want to instigate people's appetite. Clams are already mixed in. They're already given their, their juices and, uh, and did their job already. Because it's seafood, we're gonna put a squeeze of lemon. Okay, just like that, make like a gremolata, eh? Just like that, and you smell that, smell that. That that has lemon, that has lemon, lemon essence oil, essential oils of lemon, rind, and then parsley. And then we just cover it up. Oh, yes, a good olive oil never hurts. Let's go to taste it. Let's see what this looks like and feel, feels like. Oh, that's crazy. That's a beautiful little soup. What should I taste? I want the, I want the crab, I want the scallop, I want the broth. Oh, the smell is so good. Mm. Oh yeah. Kill me now, man. You die happy. Oh, wait, after you eat the scallop. Kill me now. I give up. I don't know what to call this dish, but the inspiration was cassoulet, and it ended up a seafood stew with potatoes and beans and all that, so call it whatever you want. It's absolutely delicious. I'll see you next time. Subscribe, send me messages. Do whatever you want. I love it. Just let me know if you like it or not. Ciao.